So today is out of eight trig lessons, this is trig number two. All right, so let's start trig number two right here. All right, what is trig short for? Trigonometry. Trigonometry. Everybody say trigonometry. Trigonometry. Basically means the study of angles. Okay, just think of it that way. What shape do, are we dealing with uh, exclusively for trigonometry? Triangle. Triangle, good. And type of triangle? 90 degree. Another name for a 90 degree triangle? Right, right triangle. triangle. Okay, very good. Thank you, thank you for that. So. This whole topic kind of isolates down all those other shapes you've been thinking about all year, you don't have to. You can just think about this one shape, the right triangle, and you're thinking about the angles within it and the lengths of the sides, okay? So let's go back through the review of the system. Let's start with, let's start with our right triangle here. Uh, we don't know it's right until we put this in, but now we know it's a right triangle, even though look how badly I drew it. But once you see this, symbol here now you know in your brain you can see the perfect right triangle with perfectly aligned sides does this make sense no curves like you'll see me curve things your brain can straighten all that out and you're allowed to because of this evidence right all right let's think about a variable for the angle we'll use oftentimes greek letters so let's put an alpha in here but you'll also see alpha beta, we don't really use gamma because the shape is so uh, different, but we'll use things like phi, what else we use, theta, all alphabet letters from the Greek alphabet. So if it's a number and you're saying it's a variable, often we'll use x. x will be, we, don't, we will say, what's the unknown? And you'll say, I don't know, call it x. If it's an angle, now we'll drop in one of these and you'll say, all right, drop in an alpha. What's the alpha, right? And it's the unknown variable in this problem and it applies to an angle. Does this kind of make sense, the notation that we're using? All right, this angle becomes a reference angle. This is the angle we're interested in. We're not interested in this because we know it's 90. So it's either gonna be this one or this one, right? And I guess I could close this a little bit. The, there are three sides to the triangle. They have names. The longest one is the height, which is short for? Hypotenuse. Hypotenuse, everybody say hypotenuse. Okay, and it's spelled hypotenuse, but we say a hypotenuse. Across from this angle becomes a leg, but because it's across from the angle, it becomes the opposite leg or op leg. This leg here would be the adjacent leg because it is next to the reference angle. Now we're not gonna do it this lesson, but on later lessons, we'll switch the reference angle from this location up to here and then the op leg will be across from it over here. So the op leg and the adj leg, let me put leg here, they can switch depending on where that reference angle is. Why is there only one reference angle? Because we're only interested in one angle at a time. Is that okay? Just for now at least. Okay, then we get back to our first trig function which comes from this acronym. Everybody say so, so. Ka. ka, toa, toa. and then put it all together. So -ka, -toa. So ka toa. This is your secret code to remember the three trig functions. This is going to be sine, this is going to be cosine, and this is going to be tangent. Okay. On your calculator, uh, it is abbreviated sin, which stands for sine, S-I-N, cos, C-O-S, which stands for cosine, and tan, which stands for tangent. These are the names of the three trig functions we'll be using this year, okay? The secret code for sine is sine of an angle, and we're gonna call it alpha because we don't know what it is, and that'll match up with our problem here, equals a fraction, the op leg, which is what the O is for, over the height. So for some reason, when I was a student in high school, for some reason I skipped over the Sokotoa and I just memorized these outright and it was a little bit more brutal. It's a lot nicer if you can go back through a Sokotoa and then say, here's what the, the uh, this is the generic setup of this function for trig, for the sine function, okay? All right, now let's apply it to a problem. So let's start with the first one here. We'll use 15, four and alpha. So let's draw another right triangle. 
The hypotenuse is 15 long. This leg over here is four long. It's a right triangle and we want to find this angle. And for kicks, let's call it beta, All right? So we're just using a different variable. It doesn't matter. It's like saying X, Y, and Z. When we use those different variables, in this case, it's an angle. So you've got beta. So now we'll drop in the generic uh, sine function. We'll say sine of, in this case, since we're using beta, we'll put beta here, equals the op leg over the hypotenuse, or op leg over hype. We don't know what the angle is, so it remains sine beta. The opposite leg is over here in this location. Across from that reference angle over there is the opposite leg. So four goes into the top of the fraction, the numerator position, and 15 is the denominator here. And so 15 goes into the denominator position in the fraction. Now we do a thing because we want to solve for the angle where we reverse the sign and we put it over on the right side of the equation and it gets a negative one and into this parentheses goes a 4 over 15. And now we have the setup where we can say beta is approximately equals 2. And now break out your calculators. Break out your calculators. Some of you have iPhone, some of you have Android. Can you type it in without me? So Tiffany do. 4 divided by 15 equals. Good. Switch to second so we can get sine to the negative one. Good. 15.467 degrees. And we're rounding it. Yeah, they do. iPhones are reverse. So start with this side, right? This is sort of the reverse way. We're going backwards. Start with 4 divided by 15. Everybody with me on an iPhone? Do 4 divided by 15 equals, good. Do second key, so sine to the negative 1 shows up, and click sine to the negative 1. Did you get this? Try it again. Do 4 divided by 15 equals, and then do the second key so you have a sine to the negative 1 and click that sign to the negative one. Do you have this here? How are we doing? Oh, okay. Good, that's it. Did you get it? Do four divided by 15 equals? Good, got it. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate that. How about, yes? Who's gonna be back? Good. Now let's go to and do another problem. Let's do three question mark 52 degrees. So now we're given the side length of three. Here we've got a question mark and we know the angle is 52 degrees. I wrote 52 very badly there, I need a space. 52 degrees. Let's go back and start with our sine function and say sine, in this case I'll drop in alpha, it doesn't matter, alpha or beta, it's just a different uh, variable, is an op leg, this is the so, leg over height. Sine, in this case we are given the angle, so 52 degrees goes in for this. The op leg across here is three. The height in this case is x, it's the unknown and it's not an angle, so we use the x again. Then we're gonna move around some algebra here. Now it is a proportion and later you're gonna swap it and do this much more quickly, but let's do the algebraic way right now. Let's multiply both sides by X, divide both sides by sine 52, and sine 52 is a single unit, it goes together. What we do to one side, 
we do to the other. Sine 52 degrees here. Let's clean up the algebra. This is sine 52 over sine 52 is one, so it's gone. X over X is one, so it's gone. And we're left with X is approximately equal to three divided by sine of 52 degrees. Okay, well, no, I'm sorry here, my bad. This is equal to, because it's exact. Now we say it's approximately equal to because we're gonna cut off, truncate some of those decimals. Use your calculator, you ready? See if you can do it. Good, good. No, do 52 sign on yours. Good, now equals. Good, 3.81. Did you get it? Who's got an iPhone? Ready for your iPhone? Do three divided by, say three divided by, then type in 52, then click sign, then click equals. It's back, kind of backwards, right? On the, on the iPhone. I got 3.8. Right, 8.0 or something, did I round it right? Okay, 3.81, I rounded up the one, and that's why we have to say approximately equals, by the way, because we cut off all those digits. It's not equals anymore, it's not exact. It's approximately equal, right? Okay, did you get it? Three divided by 52? Good. Yes, three divided by 52. Good, three divided by 52. Good, three divided by 52. Now click sign and turn it back to the regular sign. Is it this one? But unseconded. Click second, there it goes. Now it's regular sign. Good. Now equals. 3.81. And, you, and you're doing this too, right, Jacqueline? Yeah. This okay, do it. Do it also. You got it on your hand, brother? Nice. Yes, good. Anybody not get it? Good. Okay. Thank you, thank you. So, also in the notes are just the alpha, beta, some of the Greek letters. And there's some practice problems in there. Otherwise, this is it for your second trick. Okay.